demo, project signing, and verification with Ansible Automation Platform. My name is Sean Kavanaugh. I'm a senior principal TMM here at Red Hat. Here's an example topology for the demonstration today. So the workstation is where we'll be signing content. Git, in our case, will be Gitty. And automation controller is automation controller. And then the idea is you would run this automation from projects that contains playbooks on your infrastructure. I won't actually have any... Uh, execution nodes and infrastructure set up just to keep the lab simple. But the idea is the same, is that someone will sign the data or the project, push this to Git, and then enforce the signatures. And this is six easy steps that we'll walk through today. So step one is we're gonna create that PGP key pair. This creates the private key and the public key. We're then going to create an ASC file, an armored ASCII file. We're gonna create a manifest in our Git project saying, what are we keeping track of in here? Just like a manifest for a ship. Use Ansible sign utility to create signature for the project. So once we have our key, we can use Ansible sign to sign our project. Finally, we're going to create the PGP credential and automation controller. So this is really simple. We're just copying this key in automation controller, and then we can sync the project. So this is this sixth step is just clicking a button. It's that simple. So with that, let's get started. So here we are in the lab environment on the first exercise. My awesome coworker Anshul Bell created this lab. And for this first challenge, we're going to create a PGP key pair to sign projects locally. Specifically, we're using a GNU PG key pair. These asynchronous keys are used to validate the integrity of a project's content. Now, project you can you can uh, think of as where we get playbooks from in Automation Controller. So, a project in this case, we're using Git E, which you'll see in a second. But it could be GitHub, it could be GitLab, it doesn't matter, it just needs to be Git. And that's what we would sync with Automation Controller. The private key from the key pair is used for the point of signing, and the public key is used to verify that the content has not been manipulated in any way. The public key will be used in Automation Controller in a later exercise to verify signatures. So for the first step, we're going to look at the instructions for creating this key. There is a little gpg.txt file that is telling us how it's going to create the key, the key length that we desire, the name of the key, and that it has no passphrase. So we have these instructions done for us. And if you're not used to working with GPG keys, there's lots of instructions and documentation that I won't dive into right here. But this part is the interesting part is first we're gonna just create the key. And as soon as we create this, it's gonna create a new hidden folder. So if we do an LSLA to show the hidden folders that are prepended with the period, I can do an LSLA. Uh, GNU PG, which is the type of PGP key. And I can see in here that my private key and my public key are created. The next thing we want to do is use this ASCII uh, ASC file, or armored ASCII file, because this is basically the conventional method of sharing public keys. So we have a little shortcut for you. If you can do this lab exercise as well, hands on, we're going to take the output and push it into that key, and then we can look at what that uh, ASC file looks like. So now we have our PGP public key that we can use in the next exercise. So again, to recap this particular challenge, we've created a private key and a public key key pair that we can use. For step two, we're actually going to take this empty Git repo that we have, we're going to sign it with the Ansible sign utility, and then we're going to import this project into Automation Controller and verify that it's actually, uh, or enforce that it's actually the uh, project that we want. So specifically, we're going to take this Git repo. So if I do an LSLA, I'll actually see that we have this Ansible sign demo. I'm gonna go into the sign demo. And again, this is very simple. There's just one file, a readme.org. Uh, MD, and if I do an LSLA, I can see that there's that hidden Git directory, which we'll talk about in a second. And what we want to do is specifically we want to create a manifest file. And Anshul has made this super easy, so I can just cut and paste right from the instructions here, which you can do after this lab, again on ansible.com. Um, and specifically, if we look at that file uh, manifest.in, we can see that it's telling us to ignore the git directory, exclude, and include the readme file, which is the only file within this project. So the next thing we want to do is sign this uh, project. So I'm going to go out of the project to sign it. Um, I'm just going to clear my console to clear up all the um, text there so it's easy to see what I'm doing. And there's a new command, li command line utility called Ansible Sign. And right now it has the ability to sign projects. So if I do project 
can help. It has two commands I can verify or sign. And in this case, I'm going to do the signature or the sign. And I'm going to sign the project Ansible sign demo. Oops. Demo. So now that that's been created, if I do ls la uh, Ansible sign demo, I'll actually see in here that there's a new Ansible directory. And specifically, if I go into the folder, sign demo, I can actually just cut and paste and look at these two signatures. So one is the checksum telling us the checksum for the files within there. So it's actually looking at each individual file. And the second one is the actual signature file. The next th thing we want to do is push this to git. So we're going to do a git add and add the Ansible sign directory in the manifest. We're going to commit this and you can see the dash M just means message. So it says adding signatures for empty project. So we've now added the Ansible sign checksum, the signature in the manifest file. And then we're going to push this to Git. And this is already set up uh, the syncing. So we have Git -y over here um, already kind of running. So we don't really need to even use the web UI in there. Um, so it's now pushed in there. So the next thing we want to do is push this into uh, automation controller. So if I log into Adam automation controller and log in. The first thing I want to do is create a credential. So under the resources, there's credentials. I'm going to add a credential and we're actually going to call this um, Ansible sign just to make it match the directions exactly. And we're going to have a uh, GPG, actually, if I could type correctly today, and we're actually going to get this from that ASC file we created earlier. So we're going to cut and paste this from the terminal and it automatically grabbed it for me, which saves me a hassle and click save. The next thing we're going to do is actually get that project. So we're going to go to resources projects to add the GitHub, uh, the GitHub or the Git D project. I automatically say GitHub, but it's just Git in this case. And we have the uh, repo right here. So we're going to click add. We're going to call this signed project. We're going to choose Git. And then this is where we add the public key that we just created is the Ansible sign public key. And then the source control URL is the Giddy uh, Ansible sign demo that we just pushed in there. And then we're going to click save. So what it's going to do is sync that GitHub repo and then specifically make sure that it's uh, signed correctly. And we can actually click on the job, go in here and it says update project using Git, set the Git repository version, and then it's going to verify project content using GPG signature. We can actually see that it worked correctly and we can actually grab the JSON output and see the fingerprint creation date, signature valid and the timestamp of when that happened. So now we can enforce that, that that project is indeed not been modified, touched, or or changed. Um, or basically when I said validate the integrity of a project's content, this is what we mean. So on to the next exercise. So what we're going to do is we're going to add some content in there and make sure it's not signed, and we'll see what happens. So specifically, we're going to create a playbook. Uh, it's a really simple playbook, one task playbook. Um, I need to do this one first. It's mad because we don't have that directory and I skipped a direction and Anshul will roll his eyes at me. We're also going to add inventory to this project. And we're going to push these new files to, to um, Git without actually uh, signing it. So we're gonna go in here, Git status. We can see inventory in the playbooks directory. We're going to Git add the inventory file in the playbooks directory. And then we're going to uh, git commit, adding new files to the project, and we'll do a git push. So now I'll go back to automation controller. I'll click on projects and I will click on the sync button right here. And we can actually watch this happen. Let's sync the project and it failed. It is not happy with us. Um, it is missing the inventory in the playbooks hello world YAML. All right, fourth step, we're going to fix the problem that we just encountered. 
So we're gonna go into the manifest file and change it to add file. So basically we're gonna do echo to fix it, but we'll look at what we just accomplished. So remember it just had these two files or two lines before. Now we're gonna include the playbooks directory and include the inventory. We're now going to sign the project again. We don't need to create a new signature. We just have to sign it. So Ansible sign demo. It is now signed. And we can actually look at the checksums have been updated to include all the different files, including the playbooks hello world.yaml in the inventory this time. Now we're going to push to get again. So we'll go into the sign demo. We'll click get status and you'll see that it needs to update the manifest, the checksum and the signature. We're going to add those to our git. We're going to commit them with a message. And then again, we will push them to git. So all we have to do now on automation controller is go back to projects. It has failed last time. Now we will sync now that we have updated the signature. We'll click in here and you can see that it worked. We can see that specifically verify project content using GPG signature has now completed six successfully. And that concludes this demo. For more demos for Trusted Automation Supply Chain, check them under ansible.com under the Learn tab. Thank you.